Aussie slang. I've never seen thingamabobber written down before. Okay, I'm gonna test you guys. A thingamabobber that you can't find a name for, a duvet. What about an emu? It's a person who chooses or is delegated to pick up discarded items or rubbish in a public place. <laughs> hey guys, this is James and Andy from Hong, and we are digging in the crates with cool accidents. Let's have a look then. Okay, there we go. This is the one in rainbows by Radiohead. So Andy and I met on the first day of university, came out quite soon after that. Yeah. And was one that we bonded over, both agreed was one of the best pieces of music we've ever had. Radiohead did it quite interestingly. You could choose what you paid for it. Not like the vinyl, but like a digital copy. The lecturers were just like, their minds were blown yeah. that now music was whatever price you wanted to pay for it. So In Rainbows by Radiohead, still, still an all-time fave. Okay, this is a classic. So this is The Living End, and when I was about 11 or 12, an Australian relative came and stayed at our house, and he introduced me to them and was like, you're gonna love this guitarist. He made me learn the song, which I loved anyway, so I wanted to. He and I performed it at my nan's house in front of my family. It was a bit too hard for me to play, but I like struggled through it. Mm. Australian classic. Midnight, oh, that's like my dad's favorite band. Okay, um, so yeah, we used to listen to this album, me and James, particular time we were listening to it in his car. Okay, the 306, a Peugeot. Um, not a very nice car. Sorry, James. <laughs> it's okay, it got us around East London where we lived. And we would just listen to this album very, very loudly with the windows down. It was just a really, really nice time. And we went home and felt very inspired and wrote a song called 306, which is on our second album because of this. So yeah, Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid Mad City. Eagles, oh. Hotel California. Yes, and please. Andy can play the whole solo of Hotel California. <laughs> That's for some other content another time. <laughs> um, but this is the one. The Bon Iver for Emma forever ago. I've just got many, many happy memories of listening to this, particularly on flights. It's really good traveling music. What would the word be? Rejuvenating. Well, I just remember seeing a program in the UK. It might be famous here called Jules Holland. It was just him and a and acoustic yeah, remember, guitar. Yeah. It was like his first performance. It was incredible. So yeah. He's a very good artist, Bon Iver. This is a good album cover, good example of an album cover. But this, Kerrang Bin, The Universe Smiles Upon You. We used to listen to this on the tour bus in America. Every night after every gig, we'd put it on, just chill out, have a cup of tea and have a chat. Highly recommend it. Rick and Morty, what's that? Um, okay, here we go, Led Zeppelin. I think for both me and James growing up to go on many family holidays and this would be playing loudly in the car. My dad would be singing very, very loudly uh, and I think maybe that's kind of inspired our, well me mainly to, uh, to maybe go on and sing. What songs have we got on here? Good times, bad times. Babe, I'm gonna leave you a bit of a sad one, but yeah, Led Zeppelin, very good band, childhood favorite album. <laughs>